Proverbs chapter 3. In verse 13. Hallelujah. Would you read it, please? Happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. For her proceeds are better than the profits of silver and her gain than fine gold. Now, this wisdom and understanding is not of the world. This is of the spirit. This is spiritual wisdom and spiritual understanding. You cannot learn this by going to college. Hello. You learn this by relationship with the Holy Spirit in the Spirit. See, most people don't even understand the Bible because the one who wrote it is known as the Holy Spirit. He is the author. So without being filled with the Holy Spirit and relationship with the Holy Spirit, we won't understand this. We'll think this is just another book and put it on the shelf. And never get revelation. Never get the wisdom. Never get the understanding. Amen? It says she, in verse 15, she is more precious than rubies, and all the things you may desire cannot compare with her. Length of days is her, well, is her what? Right hand. And in her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. And happy are all who retain her. And all who what? Retain her. So these are areas that we need to have. But salvation's destiny unfolds as soon as you become a believer and begin to cooperate. Working out your salvation is cooperating with God. It is salvation's destiny, his purpose, all of these things that were predestined for you. But you can't get them unless you're in fellowship. You can't get them unless you know what's yours. You can't continue to be called a believer and live in the blind. Living in faith is spiritual sight. Amen. It's time that we become wise. In the ways of God. Ignorance is no excuse. It's time that we make the choice. And just do it. Stop justifying. Stop compromising. And just do it. Because we will all stand. Before the creator. Amen. Praise God. Let's lift our hands to heaven and thank him. Lord we thank you for your word today. We are honored and blessed. I apply the blood of Jesus on the seed. I pray it will grow and bear fruit for your glory and that you will visit your people in a mighty way. Prepare our hearts to receive communion that we may commune with you in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name. Everybody said amen. amen. Hallelujah.